Hi everyone, I'm Dan Walgren with Asian Food Solutions, Camita Vita. We know with all the food shows being canceled, especially the commodity shows for this fall, we wanted to have the opportunity to get in front of you and talk to you about our commodity process products for the upcoming school year of 21-22. So stay tuned and we'll walk through them. Thanks. Okay, so the first product that we're gonna talk about is our breaded chicken. Our breaded chicken, we use commodity 100-113. It's gonna count for two meat and a half a grain. Today we're showing our Japanese cherry blossom, but we also have honey sriracha, tangerine orange, and our general tau. And again, these are gonna be two meat and a half a grain. So behind that, we have our teriyaki chicken. Now our teriyaki is an unbreaded chicken, and it comes sauce and chicken all in one bag. We also do a gluten-free, teriyaki chicken as well as a gluten-free Thai sweet chili chicken. Behind that we have our teriyaki beef. Our teriyaki beef we use the 100-156 meat block on and we do a teriyaki beef, a Mongolian beef, a Korean beef and then a plain sliced beef that you can add different ingredients to and personalize it. Okay, in our second chafer, we have our shredded beef up front. Now, our, our shredded beef, we use meat block 100, 156, just like our sliced beef on, so it is commodity processable. We also do a shredded chicken, as well as a shredded pork. Now, these are all sous vide cooked, and they're lightly seasoned uh, with salt, and then sous vide cooked. So they're a very natural product and great, very versatile. Behind that, we have our uh, tinga chicken. The tinga chicken, again, we use 100, 103 on and that's going to be a 50 50 split on white and dark and this has the adobo peppers in it so it's great in uh, items like nachos or tacos uh, any latin themed uh, type menu that you want to have okay the next items that i want to talk about is going to be our tamales now our ta tamales are an authentic tamale they're actually wrapped in a corn husk uh, today we're showing our hatch green chili and cheese tamale, but we also have a chicken and cheese and then a beef and cheese. And both of those are going to be using the shredded product from our shreds inside the tamale. So again, a great processable item. And then behind that, we have our individually wrapped burritos. So we're going to have an individually wrapped chicken and cheese, beef and cheese, pork and cheese, as well as a bean and cheese. Uh, those are going to be, all be individually wrapped. The ones in bulk are going to be the chicken and cheese, the beef and cheese, and the pork and cheese. We also have a new teriyaki bowl that I'll talk about next. So this is our teriyaki bowl. It's going to have brown rice in it, as well as uh, broccoli, and then our teriyaki chicken. It's a great item for uh, grab-and-go uh, type settings, or if you're doing um, home meal deliveries, uh, or if p students are picking up meals, great. They can microwave it or you bake it in an oven. You can also bake it in a convection oven. So it's going to be two meats, uh, a grain, and then a gr uh, quarter cup of green vegetables. So, and you know how hard the green vegetables are to get. This is just a real easy way to get that. Behind that, we've done some applications. And so the first one is a chicken salad shaker. And all we did is we took a, a salad mix, we added our Japanese cherry blossom chicken, and then put our crispy noodles on top. We used a parfait cup, that way the students can take the lid off and pour it in, and it can be a little bit interactive. Underneath that, uh, we took our um, burrito, our you know, taco basically, and wrapped it up uh, with some uh, coleslaw and then our shredded beef and then next to that uh, we did a chicken tinga actually we used chicken tinga on, on the wrap as well um, so a great easy very versatile product uh, pre-seasoned and uh, just super simple to use uh, on my right over here uh, we took our shredded beef and we did three applications of it so on the bottom we have uh, mashed potatoes and beef with gravy on top of that we have a baked potato with beef and cheese and then on the very top we did a uh, barbecue beef sandwich. So again, these all use 100, 156 and just a very versatile, simple product to use. Okay, so we're, let's talk about some items that are not commodity processable but are still delicious side items that go real nice with our Asian and Latin lines. The first item is going to be our, our whole grain brown fried rice. It's going to count for one grain and one vegetable. It's going to have edamame beans and carrots in it. Very simple to make from frozen, so it uh, should have very little waste with it. Behind that, we have our ramen noodles uh, with our miso seasoning. And so three different ways you can do this product. You can drop the noodles into boiling water, sprinkle the, uh, take them out of the water, sprinkle the seasoning packet over it, and use it as a topical. Uh, or you can add a, a cup of water to the um, seasoning packet and pour that over. Uh, and then finally, you can add uh, two and a half gallons of water and make a soup out of it. Very, pho is very 
uh, popular right now, ramen noodles, and, and uh, the students will know exactly what it is, and it's just a great way to increase the overall participation in your facility. So next to that, I just really want to talk quickly about our yucca fries, our plantains, and then finally our egg rolls. So uh, both a, a real nice Latin side, you know, the yucca fries, uh, so the students are just getting tired of fries all the time. And so this is a great alternative for them. You can put our shredded beef uh, that's commodity processable over those and do beef and yucca fries, uh, just like if they were gonna do beef and, and uh, French fries. Um, and then behind that, uh, the sweet plantains, just a, a delicious uh, item. You can actually use as a dessert item almost. And then behind that, we have our egg rolls. Uh, we ha actually have our vegetable egg roll, uh, which is gonna be one vegetable and one grain. We also have a chicken egg roll that is one meat, one vegetable, and one grain. Okay, so the last item that we're gonna talk about is gonna be our new papaya fruit. A 1.86 ounce serving is gonna count for one fruit. Uh, just a very versatile fawn serve item. It's a great alternative so students can not have the same fruit all the time and uh, a, a very economical to serve. Okay, so I know that was very quick and, and short. We also are gonna have links on this webpage that you can go to and find out any questions or answer any questions that you have. You can also reach me. My information will be there, as, uh, my cell phone number, as well as my email address. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.